fellow force users and fellow superheroes what is up it's jasmine the ahsoka tano fan and welcome back to my youtube channel so it's time for another episode of hawkeye guys the last episode was obviously a pretty big one there were quite a few reveals yelena being one of them i wonder what side she's going to be on you know she's clearly after clint so are maya and the tracksuit mafia are clint and kate going to somehow be able to get through to her and maybe she'll work with them against maya and the tracksuit mafia you know or is she kind of just going to be like a lone soldier kind of doing her own thing there was a big reveal with ronin kate basically asked clint you know was the ronin you and so you kind of know that she had to find out eventually. Is she going to find out exactly what he did as the Ronin? And if so, how will she react specifically when she finds out that he was the one that killed Maya's father? I don't even think he knows that was Maya's father that he killed either. And of course, we still have to see the Kingpin as well. We kind of saw a part of him back in episode uh, three when we saw Maya as a young girl. I'm not sure if we'll see him in this episode. I think maybe, if anything, the next episode we'll see him. The finale is where we should see that epic showdown with probably you know, Kate Clint against the Kingpin. And honestly, I expect maybe even Maya will probably join their side by the end as well. Because in the comics, she does start out as a quote unquote villain and then ends up becoming a heroine, right? And working alongside the new Avengers. So I put it in quotations villain because I don't really consider Maya to be a villain that much. She's not really an evil person in my eyes at all. She's just someone that has been through a lot. Come to think of it, her and Kate have similar backstories. They both lost their fathers, you know, um, they both were young girls that kind of grew up around violence. And so, yeah, it should be interesting to see, honestly, if they do end up joining forces. But anyways, guys, I don't want to speculate too much. Um, this, this series is really starting to pick up now. So I expect in this episode, we're going to probably have some more reveals. And so, yeah, let's jump in and see what's in store for us. This episode's called Ronin, which, uh, yeah, damn. A fallout nearly derails their partnership, but Kate makes a discovery that changes everything. Whoa. That could be related to her mother. Who knows? Let's dive in and check it out. Hmm. And they're gonna show us Black Widow? Yeah. Oh, so are they gonna maybe give us Yelena's um, backstory a bit? Like what she's been up to before we go back to the present day? Yeah, I think so. Mm. It's 2018. Mm. Wow, this is epic. It's a good fight scene. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the end is. Look what you did to my rug. That's what she's worried about of all things. Mm, shoot, she's like a, a hit woman. Bounty hunter. Elena, how is your sister doing? She's doing okay. Good. Sister. Natasha. <gasps> what? Wait, it looked like she disappeared in the blip for a second, but then she's back. Oh, yeah. Sorry, okay, because the time passed by, right? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Elena? It's Mm-mm. Yeah. That's wild. For her, it was just a second. I was in there for five seconds. I'd come out and I'd lost five years of my life. Please, can you help me find Natasha? <gasps> she doesn't know. Her friend must know that Natasha's gone, though. That's kind of widely known news, right? Okay, that was a good intro. Mm -mm. You lost your family. Mm. Why do you want? Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody. Go home. It's over. Mm. So that was kind of an interesting beginning. They started off with like a, a flashback scene and then went to the Marvel theme, then the recap, now going back to present day. Normally you'd start with the recap first, Marvel theme, then flashback maybe? Mm -mm. Are you okay? Does this have anything to do with Clint Barton? Mom, no. Clint protected me. Oh, her mom is so bad. Yeah. She acts so weird. Look at me. She does love her daughter, though. Mm. Damn, she does look pretty banged up. Does Clint think you are a superhero? No. 
I feel like her confidence is kind of shattered, you know? This means that what you do might look a little different than you dreamed of as a child. Are they gonna have a flashback? Scene? And I have a pretty good picture of who you're becoming. I need to tell you something. Oh no, is she gonna tell her about Clint being the Ronin or no? We found oh, Jack, okay. Heavy stuff about Jack. Um, oh no. Me that you'll look into it. That's all I ask. Okay. Well, she'll look into it, all right? Because she's part of it. <laughs> hmm, it's funny. Like, these scenes are very similar. Kate and her mom, her mom was kind of cleaning up her wounds, and then now Kazi is cleaning up Maya's wounds. There's a lot of parallels between them, Maya and Kate. As soon as we kill him, yeah, it's enough. Wait, where's Pizza Dog? Is he still okay? Or maybe he's at her mom's place? Has someone been in there? Oh, is that Elena? Yep. Hi. Nice reflexes. I'm in the Corona. Do you want some? Ah, she's the best. I love her. So they are gonna team up then? I was gonna say, does Kate know that's the same girl from the fight? She does now. <laughs> you have one four? I'm one person. That's so weird. <laughs> I did not try to kill you. A, I put you on a wire and you're moving out. I'm B. Stop being so defensive. Oh my gosh, Elena is literally the best. Oh. I don't have any weapons on me. Okay, I take that back. I was gonna say, you're lying. I'm currently in my hands. On your wrist, bitch, you're lying again. <laughs> My daddy. <laughs> I love how they're joking about it. Oh man. Mm. Again with the Christmas carols. Oh, grills. Okay. Does he have his new costume ready? <laughs> I'm happy they're giving the LARPers a bit more of a role because when they were first shown, in episode two, I was kind of wondering what role are they going to play in the story, right? Now we're getting to see that a little bit more. I go? Sure thing. I can put hot sauce on it. Oh my god, this girl. The Rockefeller Center? <laughs> Very funny. What, it's not good? She's serious. Oh, wow. Well done. <laughs> Lady, <it's> so good. <laughs> Have you ever eaten reindeer? Not saying it's a pleasure, no. <laughs> no, it is not a pleasure. <laughs> You must have some recommendations for me. <laughs> what is she getting out of here? <laughs> Let me see vigilante type. <laughs> you keep saying my whole name just to point out that you know it. <laughs> yes. I know a lot about you. Hmm. She suddenly turned so serious, Elena. Uh, university GPA 3.8, senior, double major. Right now. Mm. Are you in New York to talk to Clint? Is that why you're here? No, 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 no. I'm here to kill him. <laughs> I'm here to kill him. Oh, shoot. I knew she was going to say that. So this is an interrogation then. She wants to know where he is. How has everybody forgiven him for his past? Oh, is she going to tell him stuff about Clint? She saved the world. That's true. Here is Natasha's sister. Ned. Wow, I did not see that coming. Like, thank God I didn't kill you. You could not have killed her, Kate. <laughs> She's a little out of your league. Even though Kate's good. Mmm, she must have dropped some tea. Spilled some tea, I should say. Do you know how many people he killed? Mmm. Okay. Wow, that was very Russian. Oh, yeah. This this is probably going to be what shakes the relationship Kate and Clint. My sister is gone because of him. That's not really true, though. Really not. Unless Contessa told her that. Does she know her? Oh, yeah, she has to know that he, her sister sacrificed herself. Nobody's perfect, but he is good. Mm -hmm. True. We're defined by what we do. Mm hmm So, where is he? Mm hmm We knew that question was coming. This is definitely an interrogation, 100%. What's she gonna do? She's gonna leave out the window? I don't think so. Do not get in my way again. Mm. Oh. 
god she is just too cool for school i love her oh, where's pizza dog no way all kinds of stayed in the hotel oh he's gonna let him stay by him oh this dog's lily always eating pizza all oh, the costumes no we want to see it show us oh Mm. Was it the mom that called the cops? I've obviously been framed. I'll be back in the jet before your Christmas party. You'll see. He seems so calm. What is going on with them, man? I just can't figure it out. Oh. He just wants to drown out the noise. Natasha, I'm only here to talk to you right now. Damn. That's so sad. I hope Elena doesn't just surprise him right now. Surprise attack him. Clint. Oh. Oh, what are you about to do? Oh, snap. What are you about to do, Clint? It's kind of nice seeing this side of Kate. Getting to see, you know, like the, the normal life teenager part to her. Because we've seen a, a lot of scenes with her in action. And now we're kind of taking a little bit of a step back from that. She's questioning a lot, it looks like. Hey, is she calling Clint? Me. Oh, sorry, she's not a teenager. She's 22, right? Okay. What hey, whatever happened with the police and Kate, though? Because didn't they want to talk to her about the Ronan thing? Have their suspicions just transferred over to Jack now? <laughs> Those grills? Oh, fuck, it's a tracksuit movie. What are they doing and who are they going to see? Oh, oh, is he gonna kill them, Clint? Oh, it's a letter. A note of some sort. Because he said, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. Mm. Mm -mm. He kind of needs to keep his hearing aid in, though, because Elena could sneak up on him. Laura, I wonder if you're hiding more. I know one of you, one of you in the comments were saying she could be the one that the watch belongs to, Laura. Mm -mm. Other guy doesn't mean Ronan? Or is he talking about the kingpin there? I couldn't tell if he was referring to himself in third person or not. That is wifey right there. She always supports him. Oh shit. Shit's about to go down. Was he there? On that post? Or is that Maya's man? Okay, that's Kazi. What if Hawkeye takes out Kazi though? <laughs> or the Ronin, I should say. Yeah, he's right there. The sword! Okay, because he stole the sword, didn't he, from Kate's apartment? Man, these guys are not very stealth. They're not supposed to be out in the open like that. Oh, oh man. I think it's possible we might see some people killed off this episode. Shoot. She sensed that he was there. She didn't bring any more rounds? Will he unmask himself? Is he trying to kill her though? Kind of looks like it. I feel like he's probably going to be unmasked. He'll either take off his mask voluntarily or it'll be kicked off his face or something. Nice moves. I don't think either of them are going to die here though. Because Maya still has too big a role to play. And Clint, it's too early for him. Before I kill you? Or something? He's not gonna kill her. Now that if you come after me, my family, that'll be the last thing you do. When you're filled with rage, you need to fight. Mm hmm Oh. <gasps> do, do you think Kazi betrayed her maybe? Like, boss. tipped him off? Your boss. To her boss? <laughs> Is that Yelena? Oh, it's Kate. The arrow, yeah. He's gone. Mm. So somebody somebody tipped off him, who works for the Kingpin. That must be Kazi, maybe, I'm thinking. I don't know. That'd be the ultimate betrayal. Are you Tabitha? Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that her Uber? Yeah, he definitely... I feel like Kazi did something. But why, though? Did he want to take her father's position? Is she going to tell him what he told her? 
Mm-hmm. He wasn't there because he's the infama. Mm-hmm. This is going to make Maya turn, you know, over to Clint and Kate's side. Join forces with them. So he didn't actually kill anyone, did he? He just kind of wrapped them up a bit? Mm-hmm. You may know. She said she's Natasha's sister. Mm-hmm. See, I'm concerned because the thing is, Yelena is a very highly skilled decorated assassin. And so when she has a target, you can't really make her miss because then it kind of affects her reputation. So if she goes after Clint, I'm a little worried. I do like their partnership, these two. Kate and Clint. Eleanor. Oh, is she watching there? I wouldn't even be surprised if she's luring Elena somewhere. The mom is going to be the big bad. Elena, Cl Kate, Clint, and Maya are going to end up working together. That's kind of what I'm thinking now. Maybe even the tracksuit mafia too. Uh oh. Her mom hired her? What? Well, that's the guy I've been worried about this whole time. The kingpin? Oh no, why does it end like that? No! Mr. Grinch. Mr. Grinch. That's crazy. So, no surprise that Eleanor Bishop was the bad one because we've kind of suspected that from early on from the second episode or so. She's working with the Kingpin. Elena was saying that Eleanor hired her. That kind of confuses me a little bit because in the Black Widow post credit scene, spoiler if you haven't watched Black Widow, Contessa Valentina was the one that approached Yelena with Clint's file and told her, you know, you could take him out. He's responsible for the death of your sister. But then now we're finding out that Eleanor was the one who hired her. So I don't know what that's all about. Does that mean that Eleanor and Contessa are working together somehow? Maybe, um, I almost said Florence. <laughs> Maybe Yelena took the file from Contessa, looked over it, but then the person who actually officially hired her was Eleanor. There can be different reasons for that. So one, it's possible the Kingpin wants Clint dead because he discovered that he is in fact the Ronin and maybe he wants to cover his tracks. He doesn't want anybody to know about his involvement in having Maya's father killed because we also had that other reveal where somebody who works for the Kingpin tipped off Ronin, but we'll get to that in a second. So it's possible the Kingpin is the one who wanted Clint dead and thus told Eleanor, you know, hire this Black Widow assassin to take care of it. Or it's possible Eleanor wanted Clint dead because she didn't want him near her daughter. We know from the last episode especially, she does not want her daughter involved in this kind of business, right? And it seemed to me that she kind of blamed Clint. That's kind of where my mind's at. But that's huge because now we've actually seen Kingpin. We saw a glimpse of him back in episode three when Maya was a young girl. And now we're seeing a picture of him. It looks to me to be the same actor who played Wilson Fisk in Daredevil. So it doesn't look like they recast him, you know, but it was also just a picture, so it's hard to tell. So I assume that we'll be seeing him in the flesh next episode. That's kind of where the story's headed at this point, right? I kind of have a lot of questions about Jack being arrested too. Jack did not at all seem worried. You know, is it again because Eleanor and Jack are involved in this and he knows he'll be released soon? Or did she just set him up to take the downfall for everything? The problem with Kate telling her that information was that she had to make sure she covered her own tracks. By her looking into it, she just basically made arrangements so that Jack would take the fall for everything and she wouldn't have to. That's possible. And then we could see Jack maybe work with Kate and Clint against the Kingpin. Who knows? We saw Clint reveal himself to Maya, you know, um, as the Ronin. Or should I say we saw the Ronin reveal himself to Maya as Clint. We know in the comics that Kingpin is the one that was responsible for Maya's father's death, but he convinced her that the Daredevil did it and then thus she, you know, she wanted to go after the daredevil to avenge your father's death. So we're seeing something kind of similar happen here, but then he's trying to make Clint take the fall for it. I really am curious to see what Maya does going forward, knowing the truth now. Will we see her work with Ronan? It's pretty obvious to me that Kazi is the one that tipped off the Ronan, or at least that's what we're being led to believe right now. You know, she immediately asked him, why weren't you there at that night at the meeting? So you know she's connecting the dots as well. Is it gonna be Kazi and the tracksuit mafia against Maya, Kate, 
and Clint and Yelena in the end. And are we gonna see Kate go against her mother in an epic showdown now? Because her mother is obviously pulling a lot of strings from behind the scenes, right? As we, we knew there was something up with her from the beginning, so it's not super surprising, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how Kate deals with it going forward. If we're going back to the beginning of the episode now, I really like the opening scene where they showed the blip. It just kind of gives perspective as to how short the time felt for those who disappeared. In the movies, we've seen it from um, the perspective of the survivors, how long it felt for them. But during this opening scene, we're seeing it from Yelena's eyes. And for her, the blip lasted five seconds, as she said, but in actuality, it was five years. It makes you understand what Yelena is going through, the grief she's feeling. One moment, she wants to find her sister. And the next, in just seconds, you know, her sister is gone. So you can definitely understand where she's coming from. That grief kind of carries over into her conversation with Kate in Kate's apartment, right? She talks about how Clint's responsible for her sister's death. You can definitely hear the pain in her voice and see the pain in her eyes. You can tell they're kind of at odds with one another over who Clint really is. Elena sees him as a killer. Kate sees him as a hero. At some point, they will have to kind of come to a common ground here and realize that they have to work together you know and they kind of are already showing that given that Elena did text Kate and was forthcoming about who hired her which was her mother that whole thing whoa my mind's like so jumbled because I feel like there's so much that we saw in that episode but that was really good Elena is just so badass I'm really happy to have her back I love how nonchalant and carefree she was around Kate but then she also kind of got serious when she started asking you know where is he I'm, I'm gonna kill him and you're not gonna stand in my way she's very humorous as we saw in Black Widow but she also gets down to business and she is lethal and definitely not someone to be messed with there's two scenes in this episode that are kind of small but I think kind of showed us a lot we see Kate's mom cleaning up her wounds first and then the very next scene we see Kazi cleaning up Maya's wounds and Maya and Kate both kind of have a lot in common. They have parallels to one another. As I mentioned before, they both lost their parents. You know, they kind of both grew up around violence sort of thing. And they kind of both arguably had odds against them, but beat the odds, which is why they should really work together. If you notice, the people cleaning their wounds um, are also the same people that betrayed them. Eleanor, we found out, has been betraying Kate. She's the one that hired Yelena to kill Clint. Kazi, now we're pretty sure, is the person that tipped off Ronan to kill Maya's father in the first place. So ironic that the same people that hurt you are the same people cleaning your wounds. Yeah, just Kate's mother is just really, she's bad because she not only is involved in all this, but she's been gaslighting her daughter the entire time, making her think that she was crazy, that there was nothing there. And she even tells her, you're not a hero and you know and you know she just wants her to work at her security company like she doesn't want her daughter to be what her daughter really wants to be and it makes you question is it because she's concerned of her sa for her safety or is it because she doesn't want her daughter to find out who she is so she really gaslit her and you could see in that scene again where Kate's mom is cleaning up her wound. Kate's confidence is definitely shaken I think Kate's mom asks her does Clint think you're a superhero and then she says no, and neither do I. So that that moment was kind of sad a little bit. She very much kind of started confident in her abilities, you know, at the beginning of the series, and now we're kind of seeing her lose that confidence a little bit. But then later on in the episode, she gets the bat. She steps back in, tells Clint, you know, it's not over, I'm still your partner, and she even saves him. So that was kind of a good moment for Kate to kind of fall back and, and have this moment where she's questioning herself, only for her to get that confidence back. I think that she's now bounced back stronger as a character. And we still have to figure out what's going on with Laura, uh, Clint's wife. You know, one of you mentioned in the comments that the Rolex might actually belong to her and that maybe she um, was once like an agent. I know some of you thought that she could either be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. One of you thought maybe that Laura might have actually used to be an enforcer for the Kingpin and that Clint was sent to take her out, but that she was the first shot that he wasn't able to take. Because we do remember him talking about that, how there was a woman and he just couldn't kill her, right? About the time I met someone i was sent to take her out and when i got there i couldn't do it you mean natasha yeah um so maybe that it could in fact be his wife that would be a great twist as well and it would make sense you know if his wife is the one whom the rolex belongs to makes sense as to why he would talk about how he doesn't want to blow his friend's cover and whatnot. So yeah, either way, I think there is something going on there. Yeah, guys, overall, great episode. The series is really starting to pick up now. I even like how they're getting involved with Grills. Maybe he's going to help join the fight in the end as well. 
This whole time he's been pretend fighting, you know, as a LARPer. Maybe now he'll actually get involved in a real fight. Who knows, right? I like how the story is coming together. It's funny actually because it's coming together, but it's also kind of branching out more and more. <laughs> yeah, we got to find out what happens in the next episode. There's multiple conflicts going on here that I think are going to lead us to one big epic final battle in the finale next week. Anyways guys, um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the episode and share the video as well so we can continue to grow our community. And um, for those of you who have watched Squid Game, I'm also planning a little extra special cosplay finale. So stay tuned for that as well. And I will see you next week for an all new episode of Hawkeye. Until next time guys, take care and see you soon.